I've been here since the beginning. Thanks to different elements, I give life. I am life. I have an important mission, to nurture the crops that feed all human beings. But over the years, humans haven't protected me. Human overpopulation and ambition have resulted in my natural composition being altered in order to generate tons of food at an industrial level. Feed is not the same as food. My condition is dire and my productiveness and fertility is at risk. Fortunately, there are some people trying to reverse the damage. And in 2004, I had that unique thing happen to me, which happens to many people in their mid-30s, is that I had my first child. And I started asking the question, where are we going with this? The company started out organically, just a small group of people with absolutely aligned goals in terms of uh, business, ethics, environmentalism. We ended up uh, creating this team that allowed us to look into how we can create this organic fertilizer that had all these incredible attributes that would be great for consumption. How can we do something that is non-toxic, something that uh, our kids would not be afraid of? We're working on uh, solutions to address global nutrition and food security while also addressing climate change. So up till now we've been using byproducts from pea, lentil processing, for example hulls. We're using pea hulls, lentil hulls, rice hulls, and those materials are what we use to make this high performance fertilizer. And we're moving forward down this path of sustainable sustainability. At 4D Labs, one of our main goals is to help local industries overcome their industry and technical challenges. In the case of Solios, we did that by helping them develop new materials and making sure they have the, the benefits that they wanted and are safe for use in the field. We started some trial in the lab and see if plant can update our material and the result was quite promising. Crops grow better, they grow faster, you get more yield, and very importantly, the nutrient content. We take that cellulose fiber, we add zinc or iron or manganese or other large cations. The end product, the grower knows that what he's putting in the ground is only fiber and the element that he wants. It's a kind of a smart fertilizer. I hear always about organic food, but I always think, how organic is it? How how healthy actually is it? It's cool to know that when you're gonna have one of our apples, uh, you know, one of our lentils or one of our tomatoes, it will be healthier for us in many ways. Quality of the produce is significantly important as it affects the health of uh, you and I and every people who consume the product. Uh, that is a revolutionary product for agricultural purposes because we eliminate all the chemicals, ligands, and also we prevent to use the material in the way that they just wash off from the soil in the groundwaters and make a lot of pollution. The micronutrient fertilizer that farmers use nowadays are pollutants. They wash out and pollute the water system. Uh, they are also not very effective. They only work for a short period of time, typically be hard to work with. You need special education to apply them. Uh, they could be toxic if you apply too much. The problem with the fertilizers is they tend to be water soluble. So the first rain or the first time you water the plants, most of them go into the soil and we lose them in the wastewater. And agriculture is one of the world's hardest businesses because it depends on rain, it depends on temperature, it depends on your soil pH. But we know that we're going to have to feed more people between now and 2050 than we've fed through the entire history of civilization. It's just a factor of that's how many people are going to be on Earth. We are looking at uh, the bioavailability of important uh, metals such as iron. We are investigating the positive impact of protein synthesis in the produce uh, based on the treatments of solios and several other factors which are important for human health. Being able to apply a fertilizer to your soil that releases the micros as plants need them, but then the residual is 44% carbon and improves your soil health. That is a, a sustainable way to improve the fertility of soils. Without degrading, you're improving. It's not even toxic at high concentration for plant because it's tied up to uh, cellulose-based material and remain in the soil as long as uh, plant needs to uptake that and absorb that. One of the most important uh, subjects that we need to do 
to help our environment is taking care of the soil. It's where we live, it's where we stand, it's where we get our produce. So we really need to focus on protecting our land and that is something we're not doing. This very diverse background of all the different team members makes it makes it so powerful because we're we're looking at this problem from all the different angles, from a biology angle, from an engineering angle, from a um, material science and biochemistry angle, and it's all those different disciplines that you really need to make this a success and uh, you know, convert this really complicated problem into a, a concrete solution that has the capability to scale up and have a global impact. What we need to do individually is acquire knowledge that is based on evidence and make decisions based on evidence, not on ideology. And I think that is the most important environmental activity any of us can do right now. We make enough of this uh, very unique fertilizer, environmentally sustainable, it actually improves soil. It's the only fertilizer that does that. And the step now is to make that thing full. We're at the stage where we're ready to commercialize. We have a product. We know that it works. Uh, we understand the value chain. And we're ready to start bringing it to the world. I'm really happy that we're doing this. And I think that's the future. We really need to think about how we can feed ourselves better. I'm just hoping that there's going to be more companies like ours, more soldiers around the world. Today, the word fertilizer alludes to something toxic, something full of chemicals and possibly diseases. But we are talking about a new generation of fertilizer. Solios is not just a technology to help achieve better crop yields. It will also help eliminate the negative impact of fertilizers currently used in the environment that permeate not just the soil, but also the water system. Solios is a way to enhance human health with better, more nutritious food and a cleaner environment.